First this noon time, we are remembering a Providence police officer taken too soon as he was rushing to help a fellow officer. Funeral mass for Sergeant Max Dorley just wrapping up a short time ago as thousands of officers from all over New England gathered in Providence today to pay their respects to the fallen officer. He was killed last week after losing control of his car in Providence, rushing to help a colleague who was requesting help. For more details on this moving and touching ceremony this morning, let's head over to Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan. She has more coverage for us now. Danielle, Sergeant Maxwell Dorley moved to the United States as a child from Liberia. He built a strong life. He was a husband. He had two children, dedicating 15 years to the Providence Police Department, and he died devoting his life to service. A sea of blue fills the cathedral of St. Peter's and Paul in Providence. Thousands of officers spilling out into the courtyard. A brotherhood coming together to say goodbye to Sergeant Maxwell Dorley. He loved his wife and family. He loved mankind. 41-year-old Dorley dedicated 15 years to the Providence Police Department. That dedication and a sense of family brought out thousands of fellow officers and other mourners. Maxwell lived, and he lived well. Words of praise and honor, but perhaps the most moving sentiments came from one of Sergeant Dorley's children. Dear Daddy, my hero, my strength, my dad, my number one fan, my rock, my life. I know that every second of the day, you're right there with us. Just know that I love you, we all love you, and I will see you in the future. My dad was a hero. He is still a hero. Some touching moments at the end of the service there. That was Maxwell Dorley's wife. Sergeant Maxwell Dorley will be buried in Atlanta. We're told he was planning on moving to Georgia when he retired. Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News. All right, Nicole, thank you. We want to let you know there is much more coverage on WPRI.com today. We have posted a photo gallery of today's memorial service, as well as a retrospective of previous officers in Providence who have lost their lives protecting the capital city.